pull for code. Okay, guys, we've got Trent here. Sorry, I meant feedback. Huh? I'll start off for Trent. Uh, Coach called you and IO assassins the other day in practice and, and said that you enjoyed making uh, the new guys look ridiculous. How much fun has it been to play with guys with that kind of skill level and what you've been doing so far? Um, not only has it been fun, but I think the biggest thing, like biggest takeaway from that is, you know, just seeing their competitive competitiveness, uh, just, you know, not being, not being able to back down from, you know, the, the upperclassmen as, as two freshmen, you know, they're always willing to, to get after each other, uh, get after what, with me and Io, you know, uh, coach try to challenge them every day with putting me and Io on the same team and, you know, um, Bello and Ace on the same team. So we kind of, you know, get a feel for each other and it kind of, it kind of, you know, gets them ready for, you know, really big 10 play, you know, what, what's coming out their way every night and, you know, just preparing them defensively. And that's just, a, that's our biggest goal for them, you know, just being able to, if, if they can compete with us every day, you know, I, I think, I, I truly believe they will be able to compete with anybody in the country every day. So. And what about Coleman? He, he's been guarding you a lot. How difficult is it against a guy that big? Um, just his activeness and his length, you know, his arms are very long. He's, you know, he's like another guy, Monte, but just taller. Um, you know, just him active in gaps, you know, just flying around with his arms everywhere. He's very, it's very challenging to, you know, you know, to just to settle and lazy passes, you know, lazy dribbling around him because, you know, he, he with his activeness, with his arms you know, and length on the uh, on defensive side is, is incredible. So um, he's gotten a lot better this past, you know, this off this preseason. And um, I'm very excited for these younger guys, you know, to finally, you know, let loose tomorrow. Cool. Thanks, Trent. Trent, how about yourself? Coach kept saying 261 days since, since you've played. Uh, how anxious is this team to go out and uh, kind of pick up where you left off last year and start a new chapter, too? Um, like you said, you know, um, obviously I heard, you know, just being a senior, you know, be, uh, being, a, but being a junior last year, um, ending the season where we were on a roll, and now being a senior, just going out tomorrow night after 261 days is, is unreal to me. Um, and I'm just very excited. Me and Monte are very excited, you know, to finally go out and play our our last first game. I would say um, is it's it's unreal and it's been you know an amazing journey. And I'm very excited, you know, to be able to to be a part of this program and to see the prog progression of where we've took taken this program since 2017 to now is is incredible. And I'm just you know very happy to be a fighting Atlanta and be a part of this program within these years. Thank you. Trent, do you see that as like a, you know, since you were here for Underwood's first year, you, you and DeMonte, that like, you know, the building from those losing seasons to now preseason number eight, do you take a lot of pride in that? Oh, for sure. Um, you know, uh, just I talked about this a lot, you know, and last time we guys, I spoke to a few of you guys, you know, just being able to, you know, withstand, you know, what's going on, you know, um, not being able to, you know, just stay here with Coach Underwood and believe in – believe in his process and trust in what he's, he's, he's doing. Um, I think that that was our biggest goal for me and Monte, you know, just to being able to, to stick through it, you know, when we were down and, you know, to continue to believe and just continue to come to, come to practice, come to the gym and come to work every day and just get better. And, you know, finally put pieces together where guys wanted to compete every night. And, um, and this is where we at. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a blessing, you know, to be able to, to say that now, you know, three years from now, uh, I would never, three years ago, looking now, I would never thought we'll be top 10 <laughs> in the country. So, you know, um, it's unreal, you know, just being able to go out there tomorrow knowing how much, how much um, I was, let's say, um, high level of praise we have right now as a team um, is incredible. So I'm very excited to go play, play tomorrow. Thanks. Hey, Trent. Um, 
how excited are you to finally play against another team and not just your own teammates in practice? You'll get the opportunity to use what you guys have learned in these practices against another team. Um, I think is the biggest thing is we've, we've worked so hard this preseason, um, you know, not being able to have exhibitions or preseason games, you know. Obviously, we're, we're all competitive, but I kind of, you know, we, it kind of gets, you know, it gets boring seeing each other every day, like going and getting after each other. But obviously, we love the competitiveness and getting better. But being able to go against someone else with a different school name, a different color jersey is, you know, we're very excited, especially, you know, all the work we put in this preseason. Um, we're ready to show everyone what we're about and, you know, to start to, to, to continue what we start off, uh, left off at last season. Thanks, Trent. It's around coaches talked about getting that identity back at the defensive end. And uh, I know that you want to get off that snub list this year on Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year. How important is that to establish the defensive side this week and, and really get back to what you guys did last year there? Um, yeah, that's the, I think that's the biggest thing for our team right now, you know, establishing that identity on defense. Um, you know, obviously, you know, having a bunch of young guys, we, you know, we're, we're praising to them each and every day how important it is, how important each possession is on defense and, you know, how hard, hard it is and how challenging it is, you know, playing pros every night, you know, at this level. So um, I think, like you said, you know, coach, coach, you know, as a whole team, a unit, you know, I think that's the biggest goal right now for this team is just finding the identity on the defensive end and knowing what we got to get back to, like for our kills, our stops, every, every, every uh, possession and knowing how important it is. So. And one more for you. How would you evaluate what you've seen in practice leading up to the, the start, obviously, this week and uh, just how ready you guys are for this to get get, get going? Uh, we've learned a lot. These young guys learned a lot fast. You know, they picked up everything really, really quick, which is very fascinating. Um, it's helped us, you know, with timing. You know, we've been able to, to you know, put a lot of pieces together, a lot of plays together within one practice, you know, and I think the biggest thing is for this team, you know, we have a lot of competitive competitive uh, guys on this team. And I think that's that's what coaches really love about this team. You know, everyone's efforts. Um, you know, Zima's getting after with guys every day, and he's diving on loose balls. You know, he's making these other guys work, and, you know, he's showing these young guys what it takes to win at this level. So, like I said, I think the, the biggest things uh, we've learned from this team really so far is the competitiveness of, of everyone that we, that we have on this team. Thanks, Trent. Hey, Trent, um, you've sacrificed a little bit individually offensively uh, for, for the good of the team the last couple of years and really evolved. How, how have you kind of, you know, taken that approach and, and what have you tried to add to your game this offseason? Um, I've, I've, I've gotten this question a lot. I've never, I never saw it as sacrifice and I kind of, you know, I've just always kind of done what coach asked me to do, you know, um, for, you know, as a veteran, you know, you, you see, you, you go into the game, you see, you're not getting as much balls, but, you know, I've never been that type of player, you know, to let that affect me. I've always been, you know, whatever coach wanted me to do, guard their best player, shut them down. You know, I always go out there with the mindset of, of being com completely open with, with what coach want for this team and what's going to help this team win, you know, and I'm all for that. If I, if I, if coach doesn't want me to shoot the ball and just get 10 steals a game, I'm going to try to do that. You know, um, I'm all about, I'm all for winning and I'm going to do whatever it takes to win. I'm, you know, I'm a team player. And as a vet, I have to, you know, as a vet, I have to show these younger guys that that as well. So, like you said, um, like I said, um, I've never seen sacrificing, you know, points uh, have been a thing for me. I just always been that type of guy where coach will needed me to do something. I just go out there and play my best and do what he asks. And anything specific you've really focused on adding to your game in the offseason? Um, I mean, I got, um, I've, I gotten better this this past off season, you know every day um just being more aggressive you know offense obviously using my offensive ability um but um like I say you know um my whole goal mindset is you know you know is to start start it off on defense you know get these other guys going because that's what that's what's going to be our strength you know coach talked about a lot you know basketball not going to go on every night so um just me being a veteran uh getting these guys going on defense first and bringing that energy um, and that fire uh, is going to help us win a lot of games. Thanks, Trent. Trent, I have a follow-up to what Jeremy 
posited to you and you mentioned whatever the team wants is you only care about winning. Is there a new appreciation yeah. for that for you now this year and yeah. a mindset of whatever with stats or awards, I just want to win. Is that a different level of appreciation okay. for that just this year? That um, for sure. I, th I think that's just what it takes to win at this level, you know, um, not being selfish, you know, um, I mean, I, I, I truly believe the coach, every coach is, um, on this team knows I can know what I can do offensively. Um, but that's not my mind. That's not my mindset. You know, I, I kind of bring the, what I want to bring to practice every day or games every day is that energy um, playing with fire on your head every night, you know, getting after guys on the defense and, you know, just effort plays, you know, diving on loose balls, taking charges, doing what coaches, you know, what coach is all about, what this program is all about. So uh, like you say, you know, that appreciation of, you know, just being a defensive ball hog, um, just trying to get, Get other guys, you know, to 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 love that and enjoy that. How do you feel about your shooting, particularly from beyond the three? Um, I feel great about it. I always felt great about it. Um, you know, um, I, I don't let the I don't let the the shooting slumps or missed shots uh, bother me anymore. You know, I kind of I kind of uh, take that to the defensive ends. You know, when the ball's not going in, I, I bring like I said, I bring that more fire on defense. You know, um, I'm all about winning, so. Um, that doesn't – missing shots or, you know, shooting percentage is not going to bother me. I'm all about whatever it takes to win this – to win uh, games on this basketball team. Three-point line was moved back last year, and as expected, a lot of folks pointing at that to overall percentages down. Is that – is the percentage back up in, in practice, if, if you will, um, for you and, and other guys? Is, has uh -huh. that become normal? I think it's it's been normal. We you know we kind of uh, practice you know NBA threes regardless you know um, we get a, we get over two hundred shots of NBA range, so I, I don't think the the range of the three point line or where you're shooting is has been a problem. But um, um, I think it kind of you know obviously messes give you a, a confused idea of like where how how close and how far you are with on the court because it's so different, but. Other than that, I don't think it affects, you know, people's shooting because, you know, we practice those type of range shots uh, every day. Hey, thanks. Good luck. Okay, we got time for three questions left for Trent. So it'll be Joey, Scott, and Nico, and then we've got to move to Io. Thank you. Trent, you said three years ago, maybe you would have never imagined coming in as the number eight team in the country. How do you guys collectively manage the expectations and the spotlight that's been put on you? Um, uh, I think, you know, the moral of the story is just, like I told the other guys, is, you know, continue, con just continue what we we uh, left off at last year, you know, just just doing what, what coach is all about, you know, like I said, um, effort plays, you know, diving on loose ball, you know, what, what a lot of basketball is all about, you know, um, offense, offensively, you know, we have those, we have power, we have power to score, we can score the ball anytime and put up a lot of points. But I think the biggest thing for this team is, like you, like I said, you know, establishing the identity on the defensive end um, and creating more stops and getting more kills and just having – just playing with fire on top of your head, you know, like like a, for unbelievable possessions. And I think that's going, what's going to help us, you know, establish that, that identity on this team. Hey, Trent, uh, you know, you played essentially this same North Carolina A&T team you know, less than a year ago. Did that make the scout easier this week, maybe just knowing a little bit more about them? Oh, uh, it makes the scout um, obviously more easier. Um, but um, this team, this is a, a whole new, different team. You know, these guys are, are incredible. Um, you know, we preached to it, preached all week about it. Uh, you know, I, uh, they have an incredible backcourt. Um, you know, those guys are very, very good. You know, a lot of guys that can, you know, jump out the building. And, um, you know, just, just their scoring ability and how fast they play, you know. So that's going to really challenge us and put a test on us first night. You know, for our first game is, you know, transition defense, getting back. And, you know, just like I said, identity on defense is, is, one of, is where it's going to start tomorrow night because, you know, this team is coming in here. You know, this is not the same basketball team as last year. They might have the same players, but it's definitely not the same team that we played a year ago. So um, big, big challenge for us. And uh, I'm excited for these young guys, you know, to finally – see another team in a different jersey and, you know, just get after it. Hey, Trent, you mentioned that 
you guys, you didn't really think you guys would get to this point with it being your final season. Have you had a moment to kind of realize that this season is going to be pretty strange and the fact that there's not going to be any fans? Is that something you've maybe struggled with? Is it something you haven't really thought about and might kind of realize for the first time uh, tomorrow when you actually play a game in, uh, in an empty State Farm Center? Um, but me being a, a senior, um, fans has, it hasn't really – I kind of like block it out. So, I, I obviously, there's a different atmosphere, but like, I don't feel a difference. I just go out there and, and, play, honest. and play. But um, it's been a strange season ever since we got back and started basketball up. So, um, we, 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 we're we all used to it now, and uh, it's the new norm. So, it's the only way we, we can – only thing we can do about it is just be used to it. So, um, obviously, the season's going to be strange, but all we can do is just go out there and play our best. Thank you. Thanks, Trent.